Hi, I bought this TP access point on Amazon and I just wanted to share with you my experience of it with you. So we've basically had this probably for around 18 months. So we have four access points around the house. We have two of these and this is the EAP245. Uh, and we also have two external um, EAP225. So one for the front yard and one for the backyard so that we get Wi-Fi out in the front yard and the backyard. So what's great about these um, access points and the TP link is it all creates a mesh around the house. And what that means is if you're roaming with your mobile phone, your laptop or your tablet, it will seamlessly connect to the different APs depending on the signal strength. So that's a really great feature of these. Now to do that normally with access points is quite difficult in terms of the configuration. But what you do with TP-Link is you have a, an app called Amada. You add in your access points and then that just simply takes care of the whole mesh configuration and the redundancy as well. So it's really simple to set up. So as I say, these can be mounted either on the ceiling or on the wall which is absolutely fine. It comes with a mounting bracket. It also comes supplied with a PoE adapter. So if you don't have a PoE switch, we have a PoE switch. So we just simply connect the Cat5 cable into the access point uh, and it just works. It powers it up. So it's just a simple one cable. There's no um, electricity needed, no electricity plug needed. But what you do get with this, as I was saying, is an, um, a PoE uh, adapter as well and that simply means that that needs to be plugged in you plug in your from your router into the device and then from the device into the AP and that then powers it with power and with data as well so these so it does come supplied with everything um, and yeah so this is uh, in terms of PoE it has both standards as well which is great so it has the 802.3 standard and it also has the passive PoE as well. So there's no issues, whatever switch you have in terms of your PoE, it will power these access points from TP-Link. Okay, so what's the difference between the EAP245 and the EAP225? Well, to be honest, there's really not a lot in it. So if you're looking for a more budget-friendly AP, then go for the 225. The 245 is slightly quicker in terms of its Wi-Fi speed than the 225. So this 245 in terms of speeds on the five gigahertz, it's running at 867 megabits, megabits per second. And with the 2.4 gigahertz, it's running at 450 megabits per second. So both are great products, um, but the 245 may be a little bit more future-proof and has that slightly faster speed. Um, so one thing to bear in mind is that these are version three. So to know what version access point you have next to the model number, it says the version number. So these are version three. I have an old version one and that won't work. So when I try to import that uh, version one into Amada, it doesn't talk to the version three devices. So I've had to make that redundant. Um, so just check that you, if you are purchasing, that you get the same version number and they'll all talk to each other, creating that mesh and they work really nicely. So as I say, the 245, the 225 and the 225 external are all available on Amazon and they come highly recommended.